Hi guys, I am Steve from Two Cat Media, and welcome to another video. Well, welcome to the channel in general. Welcome, my friends. In today's video, we're going to be completing the story mode for the Bolt Cargo, the 1995 V8 van, a bit like a GMC van. In fact, that's probably exactly what it is, or the old A Team van, I believe, which would be kind of cool if we could do that. But before we do that, I just want to show you some of my progress and the upgrades I've done. I've managed to customize the workshop, as you can see, with different flooring and the different brickwork, etc. All very good. I've unlocked all the expansions, as we can see. So I've unlocked the customization, which is really, really nice and handy to use for a thousand credits. All of the paint shop levels, which I'm yet to use properly. I think I've used it once so far. I've got my extra lifter and I've got my car wash open, my salvaging yard, which I'm going to show you where you can get parts that you no longer want or you're going to use and get those for the salvage points, the little blue credits in the top right corner. I've got my dyno there where you can uh, check out your horsepower and also tune it, which I'm still trying to get grips with that. We will do a video on that as well. The test path where you can check your brakes and suspension to see what needs replacing and your warehouse to store stuff as well, as well as all the diagnostic tools and the repair stations and the welder and the battery charger. Oh, and also as well, I've also unlocked all six levels now of the renovator, so I'm able to repair body panels. I thought you could do it actually at level five, but it seems like you can't, and I can't read. So yeah, you can do it at level six, apart from things like glass and certain components, the small ones like uh, bearings, etc. But we can try and go through and pair what we can on that story mode. I've also just upgraded to level four on the fast hands for the screwing, mind your dirty minds, and the unscrewing as well. Lovely, lovely. Inside my back workshop here is where the warehouse is, if you haven't seen that already. Obviously, I've got my parts and my uh, body panel repair stations over there, as well as the brake lathe. We've got my engine stand there, where I can take the engine out and repair it on the fly. Uh, what else have we got around here? Or oh, maybe I can show you outside the back really quickly. So here is where the paint spray is. Remember that old warehouse type building, that factory building? Well, that is where you're gonna paint inside. Let's have a quick look inside just so you can see what it looks like. So yeah, this is what it looks like inside. You can go in there and paint different parts of your car and also different uh, colors of the car as well. So you can paint things like the brake calipers, etc. Uh, and then you've got this part here, near the here you can do your test path where you can check for your brakes and your suspension. You've got your wheel alignment there as well, which we'll try and go through that at some point, if not in another video, and also a headlamp adjustment as well. Oh, I just fell. I just, I just fell. Oh my God, someone needs to clean that up. It's a bit slippy, isn't it? Okay, so that's that. And I will just show you really, really quickly the salvage uh, unit I've got here, which is just a storage container uh, where you convert parts that you no longer want or need for repair and upgrade credits, which is those blue ones in the top right corner. You can see there I've got 970 and you can upgrade parts to one, two and three stars, I believe. We will do a video about that, uh, but no, just for now, let's get on and start the story mode job for the Bolt Cargo. Okay, so let's go and select it. We've got the Bolt Cargo V8 18 van. This is the 18 van. So let's see exactly what this says. Hi, my sister recommended your workshop. Truth be told, when I learned the location, I couldn't believe there was anything that's standing there at all. And yet here you are, a great garage. Back to the car. I'm coming with my truck. I use it every day at work. It's a bit worn out, but it's not missing anything apart from the engines crackling and drops in power. I don't see any major problems, but maybe it's a matter of habit. Please take a closer look at the suspension. The car's often carrying some loads. Do the routine checkup and make it usable for a few more years. Thanks. Okay, no problem at all, whatever your name is. And also change the oil, drain the old oil and refill with the new and some other tasks. So let's go and do that. Okay guys, so here we have it, the GMC, sorry, sorry, the Bolt uh, 18 van, the Bolt Cargo. 
it has seen better days for sure. Don't you think? <laughs> okay. Maybe we could uh, do something with that. I don't know. We'll see. It would be nice to restore it, but it is a story job, so we don't want to waste lots of money on that. Okay, so the first thing we want to do, I believe, is just do an, a complete examination on it. Okay guys, so as you can see there, just by looking at that, we do have potential issues there with the leaf springs and the uh, the knuckles there. Also as well, there is some issues, I think, with some of the sway bars and the serpentine belts. Um, so I think what we also need to do as well is to have a look through some of the diagnostic tools. Okay, now I don't think it's got an OBD scanner because it is an old car. Yeah, I didn't think so, so that's fine. So let's just see what else we can actually check as well. So compression tester, it can't be started. Okay, now by the looks of it, the alternator is probably a cause of that. I mean, we have got, a, that definitely needs to be changed, the oil filter. Ah, the starter there, is that the starter? Yes, the starter, so that could be a reason why. I think the best thing to do is we'll get it onto the the lift and we'll replace the alternator and the starter. Okay, so the starter's normally somewhere near the gearbox, which is there. So I'm going to add that to my shopping list. And I'm going to take that off. And then just while I've got that in the air, I'm just going to buy that really, really quickly from the electronics part. And now we can add that on just quickly, just to see. Try and get it started uh, and also the alternator as well so let's bring that down well let's tick off the fan first i think i'm going to add the serpentine belt and we will replace that as well and add that to the shopping list Okay, so we're going to mount mode. And we'll install the alternator and the serpentine belt. And hopefully, at the very least, we can get it to either start or at least work for our diagnostics. Just while we're here, we will take a quick look around as well. Yeah, I mean, you can see here the ignition coils and the distributor. The fuel filter, those are probably going to be reasons why it might not start as well. Um, I'm going to add that to the shopping list. And just take that off. And I think just for quickness, I'm just going to change that as well. And then hopefully now we can at least get to start and go from there. Okay, so we can see here we've got piston rings, rocker arms, piston comrade, and the crankshaft as well. Uh, those two in the orange, the rocket arm and the piston with comrade, I think we'll replace those as well. Everything else uh, there seems fine. So it's about half the stuff, so we can have to get into the engine and underneath it probably as well. So yeah, um, that definitely needs doing, so no problem there. Let's see what other diagnostic tools we've got. Let's check the multimeter. Okay, everything on there seems fine. Obviously, the starter and the alternator were replaced at the very beginning. So that would have been probably in the red as well. So that's fine. So what else have we got on the diagnostic tools? We can check the uh, tire tread as well. So those seem fine. Let's check the fuel pressure test. Okay, uh, the fuel pump. Definitely needs replacing and the 
the carburetor's fine. The fuel filter would have been in the red, but obviously we replaced that as well recently. So let's go back there. And I don't believe there's anything else. We'll sort the fluids out a little later. So I'm just going to go back and see if we can move this over now to the test path. Okay, so we'll see if it will start. I don't know if it will, but we'll try it. Now it can't be started. That's fine. We'll leave it at that. Uh, but while we've got it here as well, we'll check the wheel alignment. Uh, that's fine. And also we will check the headlamp adjustment. Uh, and that seems fine. And that seems fine as well. Not that that was one of the jobs, but you know. Okay, so where else can we do it now? Uh, should we take it for a quick car wash or should we do that at the very end? Let's do that at the end, okay? Right, so let's get back to car lift out. I'm gonna start from the top of the engine and we'll go in from there and uh, take away some parts and make a list. Okay, so I've taken the wheels off because I know they do have to come off at some point. And now I'm going to take off the last couple of bits, this crankshaft V8 model. And then just go up to lower, lower it up, uh, down again, and just take out the engine. And there we are. We can see there there is other parts maybe with the suspension that we'll need doing, but we can do that separately. Okay, so now I'm going to try and go and repair what I can. Okay, so that is all the parts repaired to 58% or more. Okay, so now I'm going to go to the shop and purchase all the items that I cannot repair. Okay, so I've purchased all the items, so let's get back in and rebuild that engine, and then we'll get on to the brakes and the suspension. Okay, so that side is done now. Let's put the intake manifold on. Also, I'm going to put all the other fluids here as well, like the power steering fluid, etc. Because we shouldn't need to take that off anymore. Okay guys, so if you have a look really quickly at the car status, we can see we've got a few things on the rear of the car to do and lots of undiscovered parts as well. I'm gonna go and meet you back at the test path where we can test the suspension and the brakes as well. Uh, in the meantime, I'm gonna put the drive shaft back on, change the fuel pump and also put the wheels back on so we can get there. So I'll see you there in a moment. Okay guys, so here we are at the test path. Uh, let's go and have a look. It's quite simple, you just have to follow the, the instructions at the bottom. So we've got to press the throttle to move forward onto it. And then press the brake. And we test the front brakes first. Then we carry on moving forward. Press the brakes for the rear brakes. And you see there they're all quite low. Move forward again, or reverse it rather. And we're going to test the suspension at the front and then we'll test the suspension at the back. Okay, you can see there we have a hell of a lot to change on it. Well, it seems a lot. We've got the brake pads, we've got some shock absorbers, all that kind of good stuff. Okay, so we've got a really good idea now as well. Let's just check the car status to make sure. So brake pads, yes. 
ventilated discs. Yes, we may be able to fix those if they're not red. Uh, leaf springs, front sway bar, rubber bushings, uh, small rubber bushings, wheel hub bearings, and there's still a couple of parts not discovered yet, uh, but I'm sure we'll get to those. Uh, so uh, let's just have a quick, I think we were fine with this, wasn't we? And also with the headlight alignment, we're fine. So let's go back really quickly now and go back to the car lift. And I'm going to lift it up and we're going to start off with the back part first, I think. Okay, that's all the stuff off the rear. So let's go and take the stuff off the front. So let's go off and try and see what we can fix and repair and save a bit of cash and go from there. Okay, so let's go shopping now and purchase all the things that we need. And let's start putting the stuff back together from starting from the rear. Okay, so that looks like everything I think there on the front. So that's on the back, rather. Let's do the front. Okay guys, so uh, let's lower down the van, oh, if I can do it. It's not the smoothest, this controller. Okay, so everything here does seem fine and dandy. That's absolutely great. Let's have a look at the car status. So yeah, all green ticks. Yep, all green ticks. Let's go back really quickly. And we've got the oil and all that's done. And now we can finish the order. But I do feel like I should just waste 500 credits. I know, I know, I know. Because it's just a bit rusty. And I just want to help the guy out, you know. So let's just spend 500 credits and at least sort out some of these panels for him as well. What do you reckon, guys? Yeah, um, in fact, you know what? Let's take off some of these doors and actually just see what we can repair. Maybe we can, maybe we can't. 
We can't do the headlamp, so there's, there's no point doing that. Okay, so let's go and try and fix some of those parts. Okay, so let's go to uh, the shopping for the body panels. So we definitely need to buy a new hood, that's fine. Okay, so I've purchased the hood and now I think I might just treat the car and just, or the van and buy some new windows for it as well. Why not? Uh, let's go and install those things on here and hopefully make it look that little bit better. Okay, I think I should repaint this. In fact, I've had to tell you what I'll do. I'm going to make a quick phone call to the guy. Uh, hello, yes. Uh, well, um, I've decided to help you out. A bit of a voluntary case here. Uh, I'm just going to uh, paint your... Do you like the A-Team by any chance? The A-Team? Yeah, okay, bye. Okay, so let's get in there. He says we could paint it, I think. So... Uh, let's uh, move the car to the paint. Okay, so we're going to paint it, and I think the only way to go is going to be black. What do you reckon, guys? Is that probably the best way to go? Okay, so let's paint it. It's going to cost us an extra thousand, but you know what? It's worth it. Oh, wow. Now that is what I call great, great, great. I mean, he's going to have to spend some money on himself just to buy some new number plates. I can't do everything for him, but that is absolutely fantastic. I've got nothing else in my inventory. Nope. Okay, guys, and that is the A-Team van. I mean, the Bolt Cargo slash GMC A-Team van uh, complete. It looks absolutely beautiful. If we look in the back here, oh yeah, baby, it's looking absolutely great. I mean, the interior could do with a bit of a spruce up, but you know what? We can't do everything for the guy, you know? We've done a lot, haven't we? Listen, guys, if you're enjoying this video, and you've enjoyed this video, and you found it somewhat informative, then please consider subscribing. And you too, my friend, can be part of the exclusive, yet elusive, community that is, to Cat Media. Uh, don't forget to give it a big, 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 BA Barakas thumbs up and any comments or questions put them in the comment section down below. So until the next video, stay safe and game on. Know that the ride or die. I keep boys by my seat. Know that the ride or die. I keep boys by my seat. Oh, we hustle, but the night we